Hi hello guys this is Vignesh welcome to Arctic Learnings this is a new series about Rhino basics Grasshopper works with Rhino 3D modeling so understanding that becomes very important so in this video we will see about Rhino interface before that uh, let me give you a quick introduction for the Rhino Rhino is a 3D modeling software mostly work on surface modeler so Rhino was developed by Robert McNeil and friends. So let's take a look at the Rhino interface in this video. We can divide Rhino interface into seven parts. Menu bar, command area, toolbars, graphics area, viewport, properties bar and status bar. So let's take a look at one by one. Menu bar. So this is the menu bar. Here you can find all the comments for the Rhino 3D. And file, save, edit, those basic comments also will be here. Then there is a comment area. In comment area, there is a comment promote where you can type the comments like let's say box. Once you enter the comment, there will be fewer options given by comment bar. Diagonal, 3D point, vertical, center like how you want to draw a box you can select the command by clicking on the alphabet which underline in the command area like diagonal d three points p vertical v center c like that or by clicking by the mouse you can activate the command so i selected the three point let's draw the box first point second point third point that's it so we draw the box this is about command area by clicking on the up to you can bring the command history so you can see all the comments here whatever i worked on then next is the toolbar here you can find the shortcuts for the comments so this is a standard toolbar this is the main one toolbar and main two toolbar then you can find the graphics area here you can see various viewports then there is a viewport top perspective front right like four divisional viewports are there you can change this by go to view viewport layout three viewports now you can see we have three viewports if you want to go to any particular viewport you can double click on the name perspective so we came to full screen of the perspective by double clicking on the perspective again you can go back to three divisional or four divisional viewports then there is a properties bar where you can find all the properties of your 3d modeling and rendering and material those things also you can find here then there is a status bar at the bottom you can see the x y coordinates and z coordinates then there is a millimeter means you can find the distance also then there is a ortho o snap those kind of comments also available so when you draw a line as you can see it will show you the x and y coordinates and how much distance you are drawing those things in this status bar so that's all for today guys hope you all understand see you tomorrow bye